this story makes JJ cry, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> In 2005, I met a group of people that changed my life. Uh, they had been meeting for about a year. I had a group of friends who had heard about them, and they started telling me, you should really check these people out. It's a motley crew of people. One's sort of an ex-con, one's a doctor, one's a carpenter. It's just a strange group of people, but they all get together and they tell stories about their past. So I started checking them out, and they met once a week, Wednesday nights, usually about 8 o'clock. And for the first year, I listened to them tell stories about their past, and I tried to connect it to, to my own life. I was 16, so I didn't really have a lot of connections to it, but they started talking about love and loss, and some of them were involved in it love triangle that was eye-opening to me, sort of exciting. And then as the years kept going, the conversations got a little weirder. And I started thinking, these people might be on drugs. <laughs> and people would come and go from the group, and you would learn their stories, and then they would disappear. But these people started talking about parallel universes and time travel and maybe their own existence living somewhere else in a different universe and the individual choices they made in this universe splitting and, and one life over here and one life over here and I was going to college and starting Philosophy 101, and I thought, wow, this is, this is incredible. And people are like maybe living these things that I'm learning about. And it was the dawn of the internet and social media, so we started posting these stories to have conversations about them with strangers, too. And I gleaned maybe more from those conversations than from anything else. And then after about five or six years, this group disbanded. And the last stories they told were about a vision they had. Where they walked into a church together and they departed this earth together. And I thought, this is crazy, but I'm crying because it's beautiful, and I don't really understand it. This is a very short story, because the point of the story is Lost was an incredible television show, and I loved it. <laughs>